All right, kids, I've been wanting to make a clever video about this for a long time because it's so easy to do. It takes no time at all, um, and I've done it a few times. It works great. Uh, this, is, this video will hopefully be short as pie. <laughs> so you got a, you got a, a wired up uh, scratch plate here. All you need to do, this doesn't get any easier. <laughs> this could not get any easier. So you get one, like this, one of these cheap Squire pickups or whatever, and all you do is poke these magnets out. That's it. Just poke those magnets out, just like that, so that the magnets are gone. Now, this one was all messed up, this one that I'm about to use. So I clipped the leads, and I'm just going to solder two brand new leads right there. But normally your pickup would be already ready to go. So for that, this particular one, the leads are just really short, so I snipped them off, and I was just going to solder two brand new leads on there. But if your pickup started out looking like this, then you'd be fine. This would, this would be it. This would be all you're doing. Just pull these magnets out, just push them. You can just push the magnets out with, like, some pliers or something. It's not hard to push these out. You just poke them through. And then out they come, the magnets. And then once you've got two leads that are tinned and ready to roll, this couldn't get any easier. So it doesn't matter which end, okay? So make sure your pickup works. Test it to make sure that there's resistance. So use your handy dandy little thing to make sure that your pickup still actually works, okay? So I'm using this one, but you would want your pickup obviously to look like that. Anyway, so assuming that this is the one that I've prepped, it, this, this couldn't get any easier. All you're doing is you're soldering this to the output one one end of the one end of the one end of these leads to the output of your switch and the other to the input of your volume. That's it. It couldn't get any easier than this. So to your volume pot and to your switch. So the output of your switch gets connected to one lead and the input of your volume gets connected to the other so that all of your signal coming from the switch from any pickup is being forced through the coil on this pickup. So every single one. So instead of having instead of having just this little lead wire that connects the volume pot to your switch, you're taking out that this little lead wire and you're replacing it with a really long lead wire. Is really what it all boils down to. This just ends up being a really long lead wire and all of your wires just coiled around like that. So it creates a lot of resistance which is what makes the coil. So then you just take this, mount it where you, wherever you've got some room. I've found that depending on the size of these, they sort of fit underneath here near the switch pretty well. I just hot glue them down. And then this just ends up replacing the lead. That pickup for me just ends up replacing the lead, like I say, between the switch and the volume pot. Now, there's tons of other ways to wire these, these things into your guitar. You can put in an on-off switch, so like a, 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 a double pull, double throw, uh, with three states, right? So um, you can put in a switch to turn it on and off if you want. I, I just wire them in so that they're on all the time. So it would be just like having noiseless pickups on all the time that you can't turn off. Um, and I have found in the guitars that I've wired them into, it hasn't changed the tone for me at all. Like, at all. Pickup still sounds like the same pickup, you just get rid of all that ugly hum. So I'll be wiring that into there, but it couldn't get easier. So it's just that middle lug. There, you see where you're connected to? Sorry, not the middle lug, pardon me, that first lug. So you see where this red wire is connected, and then that goes to the switch? That whole wire just gets replaced with that pickup. That's it. Couldn't get any easier. So rather than me go through all this effort, I really wanted this to just be a quick, real quick how-to. Uh, I, I searched all over YouTube to try and see if I could find myself some information about how to wire one of these things up. And all you get is demo videos of people who've wired in dummy coils. So hopefully let this be a real simple how-to guide uh, for anybody who wants to put a dummy coil into your strap. Just get yourself an old pickup that you don't like, pull all the magnets out, and... Like I said, one lead to the switch, one lead to the volume, Bob's your uncle. And if you wanted to put in uh, an on-off switch, well, Google that shit, but it's not hard to do.